in this chapter we will learn about types of education to live a well rounded successful productive and happy life we need four different types of knowledge which can only come from four different types of education the first two types of types in the list given below directly help in earning a livelihood these two types of educations are generally given to all individuals education from one to three types makes the money one earns from livelihood and education four produces calmness peace of mind and happiness in life conditions that we all seek or live for we live a good life and be a a well rounded individual all four types of educations are necessary although it is not essential that we get all four types of education at the same time for overall progress in life all four are equally important which is basic education professional education financial education and finally spiritual education now let me explain each of the above in detail the first one is basic education which is the one which we get in school the traditional format of learning does not help much in today's world we therefore need to rethink and reinvent the way the education system of today's world reaches to children in current age study and learning from books alone is not sufficient in fact i will say it has never been like that most of the schools focus on study and no other development today i see parents with children aged 5 and 6 years visiting counselor and taking guidance they even take children to tuitions so that these children get get good grade or good marks i think till the age of 7 children should be taught only what they love to do they should only play sing and laugh school should have only these activities which are full of fun and games for children today the major reason for stress and people not giving importance to emotion is because during childhood they have not been joyous and have not been playing enough as they grow up the system should identify the uniqueness of a child and the focus should be on development of only those skills which are inborn in the child how many things which we have learned in a school as theory are applicable in life today very little in fact most of them not at all but still we have to undergo basic education which is required to absorb the next level of education which is professional education in my view in initial days till the child is 7 years old a child should go to school only to play learn ha ram ram ji in initial days till the child is 7 years old a child should go to school only to play learn how to make friends and learn discipline yes if a child is very good at study and understand everything fast he should pursue higher study for sure but if study is not very easy for him he should discontinue after 10th standard i have some clients who say that they are thinking whether they should stop sending 
children to school after 10th or 12th standard their view is why waste time in doing something which is so tough for you one of my rich dad type clients after noticing and observing the talent of his son understood that he had the ability to design so now he is undergoing a 3 year designing course third one is or second one is professional education after the basic elementary education it is time to undergo professional education be it engineering medical accountancy arts literature music sports this education requires one to choose a profession and get a relevant specialized degree people with specialized skills and knowledge are paid and valued more than people with basic education and knowledge in my view it is not simply the graduation degree of ba bcom or bsc that matters what makes a difference is a specialization in a particular skill today there are various methods to identify skills towards which the child may be inclined one way of identifying a skill is through handwriting analysis which reviews the strength and weaknesses of an individual another method involves making the child undergo some psychoanalytic test or fingerprint analysis aptitude test and decipher the uniqueness in a child i have conducted various sessions with school children of classes 10 11 12 when i asked them to tell me the streams they would like to opt for in case of higher studies 90% students raised their hands for commerce now these days few student goes for science or arts very few say they want to become an actor a politician or a social worker there are more than 1000 plus career options available today apart from those usual ones doctor engineer is chartered accountant or mba the third one is financial education for which i will focus during the entire course the third education is the financial education in fact people who say they are doing management in finance accountancy or similar degree are also not financially literate undertaking just about any commerce or finance related professional courses will not ensure that one has received financial education actual financial education comes from the family parents and grandparents in the family are the actual teachers of financial education for most of the people who struggle financially in 90% of the cases it has been observed that their children also struggle financially and most of the time when people are full of abundance and lead a wealthy life their children in 90% of the cases are also rich and wealthy it is the programming that a parent gives to his or her child during his childhood that imparts him this financial education there is a beautiful book called rich dad poor dad written by one of my mentors mr robert t kiyosaki it is a book i think that is must read by anyone who is 13 years or more and the last one is spiritual education spirituality and financial progress go hand in hand spirituality does not mean being religious it means connecting oneself to his or her own higher self as per wikipedia spirituality means finding one's own individual path a spiritual essence of a man is in giving and being generous these people who are spiritual are actually generous and try and create situations where they continuously do something for others or humanity a spiritual means connecting oneself with the higher 
self and the higher self is connected with everyone's higher self in this way we all are connected with each other according to this theory then each person who is only doing things for himself is limited but for a person who thinks he is connected with humanity as a whole and whatever he is earning should be for everyone is considered spiritual so whether it was an airplane created by the right brothers or an invention to cure a disease like cancer or an anesthesia they did something for the benefit of a human race so spirituality comes to those who are generous and have peace of mind when the mind is full of peace and free of stress only then it will have a space to create abundance therefore people who follow spirituality and meditate are blessed with those more clarity peace patience and eventually happiness and abundance spirituality is a great friend of prosperity